Once again, good morning, good afternoon and good evening. So today I got Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Well, I will say that uh, Samsung, I think, mistakenly built the device, which is really amazing, so good, performing still good in 2025. I'm talking about the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. So I was uh, getting a messages that uh, make a video flash the Eternity ROM, the latest version, which is currently, yes, latest one, the version 5.5, which is having One UI 7 and Android 15. The One UI 7 ported ROM, Eternity version 5.5, or the earliest version, can only be flashed on the Exynos chipset mobile phone because we can unlock the bootloader of the Exynos chipset variant, but we cannot unlock the bootloader of the Snapdragon variant because of the risk restriction so if the bootloader cannot get unlocked developer cannot port any rom for that device i have the mobile phone which is galaxy note 10 plus which is currently having evolution x having android 16 those who are interested to get the android 16 rom i will leave the link in my video description you can watch that video if you want to get this rom this is also a good rom this is aosp rom which is actually uh, android open source project definitely you will get a good performance a good speed and you can use the latest applications of the Android 16 also on getting this rom so today i am going to flash the eternity rom on my mobile phone which is on the aosp rom doesn't matter if you have any custom rom now the galaxy ai features that we are getting in only with the s23 ultra or s24 ultra and s24 ultra after flashing the eternity rom one ui 7 ported rom yes definitely we can use those galaxy ai features on the galaxy note 10 plus well i always used to say in my videos that if you are getting help from my videos if you want to appreciate me like the video if you haven't subscribed my channel yet click or tap the subscribe button click or tap the bell icon click or tap the select all thank you now let me take you to my computer screen so we have to download these file and links are provided in my video description well the file the twrp origin pack for the n975f this is the galaxy note 10 plus model number and the eternity rom version 5.5 d2s is the code name of the galaxy note 10 plus the exynos cleaner which is for the exynos chipset 9825 version 3 and the exynos repartition version 3 for the exynos uh, processor 9825 these files are provided on the go file web server you have to copy the password paste the password over there and you can download these files from the go file server where developer already uploaded the files and uh, i pro i have provided the link of the odin in my video description you can download and also we have to install the samsung invite usb driver on the windows if you haven't installed it yet yes you know you need to download the file and install it so the mobile phone will be detected by the windows easily well it doesn't matter if you have any other custom rom like i have the uh, aosp rom doesn't matter i will still flash the eternity rom on uh, this mobile phone but the thing that in case if you are having custom rom your mobile phone boot loader is already unlocked but if you are using a stock firmware if you don't know either your mo mobile phone bootloader is unlocked or not then you need to unlock the bootloader first now to flash the rom we have to do few things which are very important the first one is check the mobile phone battery it is supposed to be charged in case if the battery is below 30 percent you need to charge the mobile phone battery and you need to save all the internal storage data whatever data you have you need to save it otherwise the data will get formatted if the data is important for you save it then uh, go to the settings in case if you are using when you are from here you are using the samsung account you need to uh, remove the samsung account before uh, going ahead like before flushing the rom because if the samsung account still there the recovery will not get a flash that's why you need to uh, remove the samsung account and also remove your google account if you want to sync then sync it first must remove it to avoid issues from the google google later on and also turn off your screen lock by selecting swipe and then you can simply power off the mobile phone 
we have to extract the Odin first in same folder. Extract the Odin in same folder, then uh, open the extracted folder of the Odin and double click the Odin file to open the Odin. Click OK on this pop up window, then on Odin. If you want, you can uh, click any slot like BLAPCP, but uh, I will suggest to click the AP slot. Maybe it will take you automatically to the downloaded folder or if not, then you have to go manually to the downloaded folder where you have downloaded the ROM file. Okay, I came to my downloaded folder. You need to download the version 3.0 origin pack to flash it to flash the Eternity ROM version 5.5. Double click to select this file. So the Odin will show that it is ready to flash the file. Coming back towards the mobile phone. Well, we have to use a data cable and always use a good quality of data cable. Make sure that mobile phone is supposed to be power off, totally power off. Boot the phone into Odin mode. Press and hold the volume up key, volume down key, and then connect the cable with the mobile phone. In few seconds, you will see a warning screen release both keys immediately right and on the warning screen press the volume up key once to boot the phone into Odin mode so this is the Odin mode screen the kg state then you can see on my mobile phone is showing checking which means that the recovery will get flash perfectly if the kg state showing a uh, pre-normal not checking a recovery will not get flash now the phone is connected with the computer already booted into Odin mode or maybe you can say download mode and uh, the Odin also detected my mobile phone this one which means that the Samsung invite USB, USB driver is already installed on my windows now on the Odin click options and tick the auto reboot and go back to log and then click start to start flashing the recovery file well when you see pass message means that done exit the Odin go back to the downloaded folder the phone is still booted into Odin mode now we have to boot the phone into TWRP from the Odin mode. Make sure that the data cable is still connected with the mobile phone. Do not disconnect the cable with, from the mobile phone. Press and hold the volume up key, volume down key and power key. When mobile phone restart, release the volume down key first. Okay. When mobile phone shows Samsung logo, then release the power key okay now just wait for like 10 seconds and release the volume up key so the phone will boot into twrp soon you can see that team in recovery screen appears allow to swipe to allow modifications first thing first uh, do the format data by tapping the wipe then tap format data type y e s here then tap here well done and go back to main screen tap reboot and tap recovery it is saying no os installed doesn't matter just swipe wait let the mobile phone reboot the recovery swipe to allow modifications and this time the internal storage will get a pop-up on the computer screen go back to the downloaded folder and first thing first, you have to copy the repartition file from the downloaded folder. Just make sure that it is version 3, right? Copy it from the downloaded folder. Then go to the internal storage of the mobile phone. Open it and then paste the file on the internal storage. When done, come to the mobile phone screen. Tap install. So tap the repartition file by tapping on it and then swipe to start flashing it. So it will start flashing the file and the mobile phone will get automatically reboot the recovery when it is done. Recovery got rebooted, swipe to allow modifications. Then this time uh, repeat the format data partition, tap wipe, tap format data, type Y, E, S, tap here. And definitely we have to go back to main screen. We have to reboot the recovery. Okay, I will do swipe to allow modification. The internal storage will get a pop up once again on the computer screen. Okay, I got it. Then I will go back to my downloaded folder and I will copy the cleaner file. Make sure it is version 3 from the downloaded folder. And I will go back to my internal storage of my mobile phone and I will paste the file here. When done, 
come to the mobile phone screen tap install select the cleaner file by tapping on it and then swipe so same thing will happen like it started flashing and the mobile phone will automatically reboot the recovery when it is done okay swipe to allow modifications and we do not have to do the format data and the internal storage will get pop up on the computer screen once again now go back to the downloaded folder and copy the eternity rom version 5.5 which is for the d2s d2s is the code name for the galaxy note 10 plus copy the rom file from the downloaded folder go back to the internal storage of the mobile phone and paste the rom file on the internal storage when the file got copied and uh, right now i am done from the computer i can disconnect the data cable from the mobile phone i will unlock the twrp screen on the main screen of the twrp tab settings then tap the third menu make the screen time out to maximum then go back to main screen tap install you will see the eternity rom version 5.5 tap to select the rom file then swipe to start flashing it here the developer once again notifying us that do the format data partition thing uh, later on like after flashing the rom well i have done already that thing i will press the volume up key to continue i have to wait the flashing of the rom will take a time Well, flushing done but my mobile phone is showing error install zip failed well after flushing all the files i can see that it took a lot of time flushing all the files and these files flashed already all the patching file done at the end it is saying updater process ended with error one update updating partitions detail done etc etc well i will do one thing uh, let me format the data we'll go back then tab y tab format data type yes done and then i will reboot system let's see maybe the phone will start booting to the ported rom or maybe it will be in boot loop So basically the error that came at the end just ignore it all the files got flash which means that rom got flash the error that came last at the end definitely i will say just ignore it you can see that my mobile phone started booting to the ported rom on ui 7 it will take a time the first boot and we have to wait here but well, you can see that rom got booted the setup screen got appears on my mobile phone now i will complete the setup screen So finally, I got the ROM on my mobile phone. During flashing procedure, mobile phone will hit a little bit. Doesn't matter. It will calm down with the time. So got the ROM. These are the pre-default applications coming with the ROM. Their ROM is also pre-rooted. Kernel SU Next is already installed there. I will tap Settings. Then I will go to About Phone. Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Model number is N. 975f oblique ds this is the dual sim so i uh, have uh, both i mean numbers present over here we'll tap the software information so this is what right now i got before it was having evolution x now it is one ui 7.0 invite 15 the google play system update is here basement version provided kernel version and the build number if you can see eternity rom version 5.5 once again, thanks to the developer who is providing the updates of this mobile, this ROM for the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Well, you have to comment me in comment section if you want me to check the ROM properly and make a video about the stuff that's working with the ROM. Take a good care of yourself. We'll see you in my next video. Until then, goodbye.